Have you got have you got stuff to talk about today? Yeah. Good. Cool. I got something fascinating. Okay, cool. Good. Because I got nothing. Yeah. I'm struggling <laughs> for stuff today. Five, four, three, two, one. The B side word. Welcome to another episode of the B side word podcast. I am Devin. I'm here with CJ. Hello. I'm here with Alexander. Ahoy. And this week is an all boys podcast. Yay. Yay. Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, this week I felt a bit flat, boys. I felt a bit flat and I felt a bit deflated. And uh, I don't know why. You know when you have one of those weeks when you just like, F this week, I need next week to start. And I was feeling sorry for myself. And then I watched um, some table tennis, Paralympic table tennis. And it humbled me. It really humbled me because I saw this man holding a paddle in his mouth. And I was like, man, this guy never, get, this guy never gives up. He's got a paddle in his mouth. Yeah, I have so. nothing to complain about. I have nothing to feel down about. I saw him have this paddle in his mouth and I said, this guy loves his sport. First off, I said, this guy loves his sport. <laughs> He's not giving up on this sport. There's probably other sports that he can play, but he really loves his table tennis so much that he's going to put the paddle in his mouth. And that just made me happy. Not the paddle in his mouth. It just made me happy that people never give up. So it made you happy seeing another man have something in his mouth? <laughs> lost in the race in the US. No. So do you ever feel exhausted? Yes. By the fact that you can't feel yes. the way that you felt. Like, you can't feel down about your situation. Not your situation, but like down in your week or whatever because someone has it worse. And if you don't remind yourself that someone has it worse, someone else will remind you for you. And then and then you are you have to feel grateful all the time. Like, you're not allowed to to feel that way you're not allowed to like you have to be resilient 24 7 because if you're not resilient 24 7 yeah (laughs) i know what you mean sometimes yeah sometimes they um um i know what you mean i know what you mean yeah sometimes i just want to i want to just feel sad I like feeling yeah. sad. <laughs> Sometimes I like feeling sad. So, I don't know why. I don't know why it's such a bad thing. Like, you know, sometimes I, I'm in my room and I go, I like this emotion of feeling sad. I'm comfortable here. I don't think a lot of people are comfortable being sad. Are you comfortable being sad, Sage? Uh, not really. I prefer not to be a beat. But like, like you know, when there's a sad breakup song and R and B sad breakup song, do you like? Oh, I, I, I love, I love the sad songs, the romantic songs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I love being in that, that hole, that, that, you know. You said, you said that, and the first, like, my mind immediately went end of the road, boys to men, hundred percent playing, a hundred percent, hundred percent. I think my brain went to one twelve. The letter. The letter. Okay. Okay. One twelve. The letter. Oh, Ernie, Ernie's thinking I'm, I'm gonna play this. I, I'm now. gonna look it up. Your letter. Yeah, that's it. Oh, this is the. This is like. <laughs> if the, if the early two thousands had a sound. Yeah. Or late night, late nineties, early two thousands. If it had a sound, this is it. Like you can date this music by the way it sounds. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Like if someone came out with a song with that backing and melody this year, people like, what the fuck? What is going on? (laughs) What is happening? (laughs) If they, they, you. Especially, see, do you remember the way we dressed? Do you remember the way that we dressed 
Our uh, hair slicked oh, back. Hey, it was. We lo- we looked good. We looked good, bro. <laughs> you know, you know. I don't, I, don't, I don't care what people say. We were <laughs> the hip emo version. We were emos, but in a hip hop version. <laughs> we were hit. We were emos. We didn't even realize we were emos. Oh, what the freak? We yes. were emos. We were highly emotional people. Yeah. Yes, we were. Holy I never thought I was until you mentioned that. Oh my gosh. And speak, speaking of the way we dress, so... No, no, yourself, no, no. You're too young to, you're, you're too young to be on this belt. <laughs> no, mate, no, no. I'm sorry to say. Mate, myself uh, and... The, the, this boat is not for you. <laughs> myself and myself and Judy were in Primark yesterday. I've been looking for long sleeve, just long sleeve tops. Like yeah. not jumpers, like a t-shirt, just long sleeves. And we went a couple of weeks ago. Oh no, it's it's still summer. Apparently, we're in winter now because now they're in. And I was looking at them and I was like, "No, like I don't, I don't want a muscle fit. To, like I don't want the shirt to stick to my skin. Yeah. Like, I want breathing room. Can it yeah. be two thousand and four again? That's all I want. Two thousand and four <laughs> clothes, <laughs> dude. Like I, I would like to buy jeans that has room for my nuts." I, this is so when I went this volunteering last week that was one of the things I asked because first time I'm meeting anyone from work it's a volunteer day we're gardening I still don't know protocol and I was like what are people wearing guys like I'm wearing jeans and a hoodie I was like can I wear sweats is that appropriate because <laughs> jeans for me yeah are skinny jeans yeah regardless of where yes. I buy them it's impossible to not buy skinny like what what the fuck is that yes. about <laughs> do, you, do you remember the transition, Siege? The transition between uh, us having loose pants to going into tight pants? Do you remember that transition? But I, yes, I do. And I remember the fact that I always buy my tight pants two sizes too big. <laughs> so I have a little bit of wiggle room, as I like to call it. Yeah. So so I did the same thing. I bought two sizes too big. The, th- the only problem with that is, right, it's still tight at the bottom. It's just flappy yeah. at the waist area. So you got this pouch now. Yeah. I'm like, what the freak is going on? <laughs> because <laughs> I could have put kangaroo jeans, in there. No matter what width, no matter how big your waist is, no matter how long your leg is, the leg part is the exact same width same. on every pair of jeans. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. Well, there's a trend going on that I think is a TikTok trend that I found on Twitter. Um, now, to give a bit of context, basically what's going on is people are doing a video recording themselves, sat, a lot of them are with a parent, like uh, a late teenager <laughs> with a parent, yeah. yeah, and they're they're putting an application in for a scholarship. Yeah. Now, this one is, I think it's husband and wife, if mm-hmm. I remember, or partners, but um, basically, let's, let's have a watch. Okay. My husband used to be the breadwinner, but he had a horrible accident at work um, a couple years ago, and he lost his feet. Um, so now, now he can't stand. <laughs> taking it so um, well so yeah when he stands up he just falls right over now so show him honey he <laughs> 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 like the pain for him lost his feet doesn't he Absolutely. How far would you go for your partner? I've seen so many of these trends. I, I, I wouldn't cut my feet off, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the better ones I've seen. That's one of the better ones I've seen. Go on, go on babe. Show him. The fact that he that he commits to the fall. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can't even, he can't, as soon as she said it, he, she started cracking up. As soon as she said it, hang on, let me play this again. 
Let me play this again. Yeah, man, I would have cracked up too. <laughs> Look at this. Where is this? Like, how can you stay, like, straight-faced? Like, oh, he lost his feet. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like one of the easiest things to check. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. My husband used to be the breadwinner, but he had a horrible accident at work. <laughs> Um, a couple years ago, and he lost his feet. Um, so now, now he can't stand. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, so, yeah, when he stands up, he just falls right over now. So, show him, honey. <laughs> Why would he stand up? <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Why would he stand? Oh. <laughs> and that's a good question, Sage. Why would he stand up? Like maybe the first time he forgot, you know, <laughs> but like the third and fourth time, he's you know, like, mate, he deserved to fall over. <laughs> oh, oh man, oh man, wow. I love it. <sighs> I guess on 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 the theme of trends. Yeah. I think one of the things that surprised me the most in today's in today's world of internet trends is how quickly they pick up and how quickly they evolve. So I fully expect CJ's never heard of this, but Dev probably is aware of this this started becoming a trend on sunday because it was the day after the podcast and i was like why did this happen the day after we were recording right, it right. started becoming a trend on sunday and within a week it's evolved so the trend i'm talking about is the crate challenge the milk crate challenge. yes yes did that start on sunday did it it's well i became aware of it on sunday and I'm on Twitter every day, so I believe that's when it started. Because <laughs> it was either sat like it was either Saturday afternoon after the, but it was definitely after the podcast last week. Look at this bloke; he thinks um, you know, oh, oh, the whole thing runs around him. Well, oh, so do you, on Sunday because that's when I found out. Ooh. Siege, do you know what the milk crate challenge is? I have no idea, mate. To be fair, <laughs> yeah. so the milk crate challenge is essentially there's milk crates. Like those plastic milk crates stacked up like a pyramid. Yeah. So like there's two, then three, then four, then five, then people go up to like six or seven or whatever. And then you go back down. But they're really unstable. So you got to walk <laughs> up it and yeah. walk down it. And people are getting wiped out on this thing. Yeah. Like they're falling from height, landing on the crates. They're hurting themselves yeah. to the point now tiktok i believe i was reading i read a quick headline before the podcast i don't know how genuine this is but it looks like tiktok are banning milk crate videos because hospitals are saying it's not worth the er visits that are happening um, wow like it's pretty dangerous but within the span of this week this this challenge has come out it's gone viral people have done crazy versions of it and it's evolved like i saw this one and i'm just like how 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 is it how is this happening so cool? like when you actually think of the evolution of these things compared to maybe like five years ago? Yeah. Like how long would it take for a challenge to evolve? Remember the bucket ice bucket challenge and stuff? Like that even took a few weeks to just catch on. The ALS challenge. That was pretty the quick. The ice bucket. The ice bucket jacket. Yeah, yeah. The... But if you Do you want to say this it one? It felt it felt quick at the time. It, but compared you know to what? today, how quickly you, they go. You said it was. You said uh, you saw it on Sunday. I only saw it on Wednesday. I haven't seen it yet. All right. Let's have a look. Wait, what does he have in his hand? It's, I don't know, like a bowl or something. Do you know uh, what's happening? Can you tell what's happening? CJ, can you tell what's happening? Does it... Yeah, there's an idiot climbing up milk crates. Yeah. But can you tell what the theme of this is? Yeah. Um, Boy or kid, girl. Kid yeah. Girl, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is he all right? We have no fucking boy. Bro, he hurt himself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think that guy should be having any children. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, he could have just chucked it in the air. <laughs> yeah, and everyone can see that it's blue. <laughs> yeah, what the hell's going not on? Just, not, not just that. Like, I can actually see it's blue from this <laughs> photograph here um, that we're looking at. And yeah, um, you know how you know how they say some people shouldn't reproduce. Yeah. That's the guy. <laughs> <laughs> they had um, there was a there was I've seen some of them and they've got um uh, helmets on, like full on NFL helmets on, when they're going up and doing the challenge because I think they must have hurt themselves. But oh no, not NFL motorbike helmets. So you see this guy with his ah. mad motorcycle and you see him on the way down third one. It it falls it slips from underneath him and he like he he hit his head, but he had a helmet on, so he was lucky. It's, yeah, these people are crazy. These people, I just, I don't. Is it worth it? No. And, and not just that. <laughs> like, could you could you imagine her parents? Like, her parents will be there, and she's like, "This is the bloke my daughter ended up with. This this idiot. <laughs> Where did we go wrong? Uh, like, if I had if I had a, if I had a daughter and I saw her spouse." Climbing up this, I'm questioning my raising ability of a child. Can I bring something to the table? Yes. Remember I told you I had something that's sort of a bit mind-blowing? Yeah. This is a slight longer video. It's about two minutes. But I want you to watch this. Now, I'm going to give you the satisfaction of knowing I've done the research behind this. And this is true. Okay, this isn't just someone saying stuff on the internet. This is verified. This is real information, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like when you say that. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You'll understand why. All right. The tortured scientists for centuries, the one that is by far the most bizarre to me is that to this day, we still don't know where eels come from. Or more accurately, how eels make there be more eels. You heard me correctly, we have been to the moon and yet we still do not know how eels sexually reproduce. And even weirder than that, what little we know about the reproductive cycle involves the Bermuda Triangle and I couldn't even make that up. Okay, so freshwater eels, or anguilla anguilla, are really weird creatures. First of all, if you dissect one and you look inside, you will not find sexual organs. There are not eggs, there is not sperm or testicles, there are no sexual reproductive organs that have ever been observed inside of an eel while it's being dissected. Secondly, if you take eels and you put them together, even if you put on Marvin Gaye, they will not have sex with each other. <laughs> we have never observed eels mating in captivity or in the wild. What we do know, and this is where it gets really weird, is that old eels will go from freshwater rivers out into the saltwater ocean, which we'll talk about how crazy that is in a second, then they will go to the Bermuda Triangle, and then new eels will come back. I swear to God, I'm not making that up. You can Google this. This is a mystery, by the way, that has plagued humans for a very, very long time. Aristotle, like the famous philosopher, thought that eels spontaneously emerged from mud out of some magical force or something. Also, the transition that an eel undergoes between its earliest stage that we know about, the larva stage, and the full-grown adult stage involves so many different metamorphical changes to its body, including its shape and its color and its physical abilities, that for a very long time, people on Earth, like European naturalists, thought that the different stages of eel development were completely different animals, and they didn't put that together for a really long time. Now, of course, we know they're all stages of development of the same Anguilla Anguilla freshwater eel, but still super weird. Also, let's just take a second to talk about how weird it is that eels can go from freshwater to saltwater and back. Basically, no other sea-bearing animal can do that. If you take a normal freshwater fish and throw it in the ocean, it is definitely going to die. This, this tortures me. I lie awake at night thinking about this. I wake up in the morning, first thing I think about, before I even open my eyes, where the fuck do eels come from, okay? <laughs> so now you have to live with this information too. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs>
<laughs> you know what he you know that um sentence he goes this has plagued humans for for the longest time i go i never thought about it until you started saying this you prick <laughs> <laughs> i never thought once where it was come from <laughs> and i would never think about it again really that doesn't intrigue you, you cj know- no, I know this. Eels are nice to eat. <laughs> so I don't care where they come from. Just get in my belly. In my belly. Um, in my belly. What did, you, what did you have to say about this, Alexander? First of all, since when did Seth Rogen get into eel conspiracies? Because this guy is like an embodiment of Seth Rogen. The way he talks and everything. Yeah. But, I didn't even notice that, yeah. But seriously, what what's the deal with eels? I've researched this to, like, the whole Bermuda track. All of it's real. How, bearing in mind how intrusive we are with animals... And nature and and in terms of our scientific studies and observations and everything. How do we still not know where they cut? Like, have they not... They must have... The fact that we know that they go to the Bermuda Triangle and all this. They must have followed them and observed them. And yet never seen the moment where the new eels spawned. Like... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you saying all eels? These... And... And... Gila and Gila, whatever they are, these these freshwater eels. You know, it's um having like to open up an eel, to open it up and say they don't have a reproduction organ. organ. What? They have nowhere to put the babies, or there's nowhere to for the babies. Like there's no eggs. Like how are they doing this? This is. This is stupid. This is <laughs> like, do they spit into a hole? I don't understand. Do the do the girls have um uh, something in their spit that they spit into the, and then the men spit into the hole, and then that's how the eels reproduce. And if so, I think you're watching too much porn, mate. What do you what? There's a lot of spitting where there's a lot of spitting where you are. <laughs> but I'm saying too. What is there? Is there a male and female eel? I believe I don't. I, I well, if there's no sex reproductive organs, I guess not. Right. This is this is effed up. This is effed up. I mean, I so, know there's a- a- asexual cells. Is that right? Maybe the, the the eel is male and female, and it has sex with itself, and that's how it reproduces. Isn't that asexual? That's is that what it's called? That's kind of that's seahorses. Seahorses do that. Oh, maybe maybe they're the same as seahorses, mate. But there's evidence, like they know that seahorses do that, and they've seen, like yeah, I've yeah. seen seahorses give birth. It's weird, but I've seen why it. Why are you watching this? <laughs> why, why are you watching this, mate? Um, I think I think you got a bit too much time on your hands. <laughs> no, it's 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 because of the whole seahorses impregnate themselves and then give birth. But the way they give birth, like. It's just a seahorse, and then like a, ti- a bunch of tiny little seahorses just shoot out of it. It's basically yeah. like a seahorse ejaculation. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I like seeing seahorses <laughs> ejaculate. Uh- <laughs> um, but, uh, so, my leading theory, wow. or my theory is, eels are now the leading species for aliens on Earth. Like, that we asteroid know hit Earth with eels on the surface, and now they live here. Why not? Is the Bermuda if some, Triangle... If something's going to be an alien, why not? I mean, they look alien-like. All fish look alien-like. Oh, man. Emma has entered the podcast. Wow. No one can hear you. Okay, so... <laughs> I, I actually wanted to do a little bit more research into this and I haven't, but I wonder if you guys know anything about this story um, at all or anything about what this whole thing is about. <laughs> that wasn't very informative, sorry. Mm. <laughs> okay. So I was just scrolling through my feed 
Yeah. And this girl pops up and it's her giving her explanation on what she thinks happened to Kate Yup. Who's Kate Yup? Well, that's what I said. Yeah, who's Kate Yup? I was like, what is she talking about? This sounds a bit disturbing and what's going on? But she basically kind of dismissed things, although raised some concerns. So I investigated further a little bit. Was there an article? Now, uh, you can just Google her, basically. Now, Kate Yup yeah. is a YouTuber mm-hmm. that does mukbangs? Mukbangs? Mukbangs. Mukbangs. Oh, but it's actually uh... not pronounced that way, but yes. Oh. Now, the weird thing about it and what's different is that she, well, I should say she did them because she hasn't done them now for over a year. She was blindfolded in everyone and you couldn't see, you could only sort of see half of her face. Um, it became quite sinister. Mukbangs? M-U-K-B-A-N-G-S. M. U. K. K. B A N G S. Mukbang. Yeah, and then put yes. Kate. Yup. Y U P. So basically, Kate Yup was a mukbanger. I don't know if that's what you call him. Who mainly ate seafood. So oh, so what? I'll explain what it is first. It's where it's a South Korean thing, I believe, and it's where you basically eat as like a massive portion of food. I mean, insane portion. And people tune in because they want to see you eat and want to hear you eat and all this. Or oh, ASMR in that? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. I just so I just call it I just call it dinner. Yeah. So this particular girl, um there was massive concern over her welfare. Yeah. And they believed that she had been kidnapped and was forced is like was being forced to do these. Right. And so they were looking at different things that they'd seen in the videos that were concerning. Um, and I went and had a look and I agree. What? It is super concerning. But anyway, she's just disappeared off the face of the earth. Um, if you Google, there's one sort of article saying she's dead, but it's, it's not been verified or anything. Um, what the hell? It is crazy. So some of the video, I should expand. So some of the videos she has bruising. Yeah. She's got like bruising on her arms. Um one of the most disturbing ones where she was eating and her teeth fell out. What? One of, like a couple of her what? teeth fell out as she was eating. That doesn't just you, happen. You've seen this? Yes. Yeah, I watched the one. Like, like you, you they're all on YouTube. And then they apparently she edits the videos herself. Um because she can speak English. So this is where like people are like, well, she can't be, which kid, who, what, what kind of kidnapper would let the kidnapped person edit the videos? And other people are like, well, if they don't speak English and she does whatever, I don't know. But basically there was certain words and captions which spelt out like SOS or I might, uh, I'll be able to just die easy after this last mouth or help. Like with the first letter of each sentence in capitals, which spelled out help, like kind of like, anyway, all these things, but she apparently lost weight from when she first started. Like when she first started, she was like just different and looked healthy and everything. But then over time she was losing weight and looking so unhealthy and had these bruises and just was saying really strange stuff. And then in some of her videos towards the end, like it was like someone else took over the captioning because the language changed and the English wasn't very great and stuff like that. Yeah. So, what the hell happened to Kate Yup? So, I'm reading... And what's... Yeah. I'm in a Reddit thread that is... The first post is... I went down the Kate Yup rabbit hole and I'm super confused and equally disgusted. What are your theories and does anyone have new info? So, there's lots of comments with people just throwing there different is. theories out there. One other one that I saw, I oh saw this gosh. YouTube video of her eating... Um, Oh, it was a it was a horrible one. I can't. I don't like watching it because also they're concerned about the mouthful sizes that she's taking, and they're like, "How is she swallowing this?" By the way, but she had one video where she was eating um, 
She had four massive aloe vera plants she had to eat. And then she had eight, I think it was eight honeycomb, which were like really sticky. And then at the end she had fish. And when she was eating, someone had captioned the exact time frame saying, can you hear someone behind the camera is saying, quick, eat faster, keep eating at these. And I listened and I was like, oh my God, I heard that. There was like someone behind going like, quick, like really like faint though. Yeah, yeah. Like faster. And she's like struggling because she doesn't drink during this. And these were like sticky oh, honeycomb. She looked like she was really struggling, but like it was, it looked super concerning. And then on another video, she pauses because you hear, and then you hear like, like you hear a door creak in the background and she pauses like, oh crap. Like, and then um, all of a sudden it cuts. Like she goes to get up and it cuts to like yeah. the next frame where she keeps eating. So, like it's super what, weird. One of one of the theories, which is probably the most dangerous theory you can ever put out about one of these types of things, is the idea that these little things started happening, like a bruise on her arm, or the fact that she was acting a bit odd, and because of those things, conspiracy theories started to come out about what her situation was and then it is like she sees that is aware of that and then plays into it i've seen that too she starts doing more and more to make people talk about her to make her more basically get more views so the idea of that and like that's one of those things that like you can't dispute that in any way so like there's potential there because there's definitely people who will do the there I mean there are people who've done that kind of thing that, like right, that's right. real mm-hmm. but that's also really dangerous because if that's not the situation yeah exactly and then she just disappeared off the face like she hasn't posted a post in I th- you might have the information there but I think it's one or two years now she just I think got, it was like, no one like two, October like, 2019 so it's nearly a couple of yeah. years. But the thing so is, like, like does she not have family? That, like, exactly. Like, I don't know. No one knows. No one knows well, who was... she is because she's blindfolded. Is this her here? <clears throat> but I'm, her? Uh, okay, no. I know you say that, Emma, but if a video popped up of you on the internet and it was viral and you were blindfolded, I'd recognise you. Yeah. We, yeah. But I don't I, need to see your eyes d- to know it's you. Some people don't have family, though, do they? Depends where they're, where they're from and, like... But... I, I, I agree. I, I'd know it was you as well. Um, if you watch the one where her teeth fall out. What? Maybe we can do a reaction. What? No. I don't want to react uh, to that. No, I'm, oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm having trouble enough as it is at the moment. I'm fine with one for you. <laughs> you don't need to add to, add to my issue. <laughs> where, which one are you on? No, go to the right. Just a new one? Yeah. So there's another one here that says there's a theory that she's got an eating disorder, like bulimia, which explains how she can eat the food. Um, yeah. But at the same time, she's trying to call, like she's trying to call out for help, attention slash treatment um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because of her eating disorder. But then when she disappeared, she's just remained anonymous because she wants to protect her job and her family. Mhm. Yeah, I mean, who know, like honestly, nobody knows what the hell. Um I saw cuz some of these people make I mean, they get millions of views, so they're making money. So if she she could be kidnapped and they're just getting the money. And I cuz I've read one where they keep her captive and only let her eat for this one meal, which is why she's able to eat so much. But Again, that's just a theory. Nobody actually knows, <laughs> but it is so concerning. And then like when you do, you, like in this video we're about to watch, I think that's the one where she has got bruises on her arm. Oh no, it's a different one. This is 25 um, minutes long. Yeah, we're not watching all of that. No, of course not. So, but like, I mean, so people like listening to this? It makes me feel sick. I almost can't watch. And I don't know how, some of them, she doesn't barely swallow. And so, and it doesn't look like, 
because other people that do these videos, they seem to be like enjoying it, enjoying it or whatever. You can see in her face that she struggles sometimes. Is like this is this is okay. too much. It's enough for me. I show you the the bad one. The bad one. I don't want to see the bad one. No, not what, not when her teeth fall out. Just like what she had to eat. But she, so she's totally disappeared. Yep. And there was saying some. This was four weeks ago. There's an article saying, yeah, people are still looking into it. There was an article saying um, that she is that she has died, oh, but right. um, but then people are saying, well, that could be fake. I mean, the thing is, like, if it came out she had died, it wouldn't shock me if this is how she eats. Yeah. What? Who eats aloe vera? Is that a thing? It didn't even look like she particularly liked it. And that's the thing as well. Some of this stuff, like, I don't think she likes this honeycomb at all. It's like someone's made it for her. Because she was really struggling. I think the seafood is more her thing, as in what she... <clears throat> this is just going by her, like, facials and the way she tries to... Sorry, I can't watch this. Yeah. Okay, Why so this is how sticky... This? She has to eat some of the chili paste, whatever it is, because it's that sticky. And she's got how many of them? Uh, 11 honeycombs. You know... It's only because I know the backstory to this that's making it like I I can't watch this. Yeah, I struggled because it's as a well. tragedy. I struggled too. So this is the one where it says um, in the comments, someone says, "Hurry up at eleven minutes thirty. I definitely heard that. Someone said, "Just eat at sixteen minutes." Like, what you like mean? They're getting impatient behind. They're like whisper. They're like. Like those types of things to oh, her. Oh, really? Because she's struggling. Like there's no drink and that's so sticky. She's having to eat the sauce to like help. All right. So, yeah, that's what I just thought. I wondered if anyone had heard about this Kate Yup thing because it seemed know, to be everywhere. You know, every time you, it, I just feel so unease. I'm mm. feeling so unease listening to yeah. this story. Yeah, I did, I I am, did too. I, it, I was in shock. That's why I was like, I've not heard of this. I thought I'll bring it to you guys and see if you had. No. I've not heard of this stuff. Wild, isn't it? And then like other mukbangers, that's not how you pronounce it, sorry, but um, weigh in as well and they're like, it is weird, like, yeah. Mukbang. That's a, that's a, that's a genre. Mm. That's a niche. Mm -hmm. <sighs> There's an article here that I'm reading. About her, and apparently it says, I don't know what research these people have done, but it says she hides her face behind her eye mask. No one can see her. The reason for her secrecy was first unclear. However, it was later discovered she was wearing an eye mask owing to an eye issue and a nasal deformity. Um, blah, 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 blah. So if you're wondering where Kate is in 2021, you've come to the correct spot. Read on to find out what we know. Mm -hmm. And then there's like, you know, articles have adverts in the middle and then you keep scrolling. Then the very next sentence is, we're not sure if Kate Yep is still alive. What? <laughs> and also, what, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, I lost it. I was going to say something. Um, can't remember. Oh, man. Jeez. It's so disturbing, isn't it? It is disturbing. Oh, I feel at disturbed. One of the videos after like people were really concerned about her, um, she said, it's okay, guys. I am quite alive. Or it's like something. She didn't say it with her voice. Like she said it in captions. But it was so, it was just really odd as well. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Anyway, that was my story. Oh, man. Thanks. But um, I wondered if you guys knew about the whole mukbang thing, because there's yeah. some like guys who um, like they do it like, but it's like fun, like they're having fun, like this guy. 
<laughs> What's his name? More Nico uh, Nico Cardo. Yeah, he's having fun. Like this is different, right? Well, yeah. we were we were at a couple. We were at a friend's house last night, and there's a guy. I've forgotten what his his name is, but it's not mukbang intent in the sense of he's not doing the ASMR thing, but he's. He's an English guy and he goes around different restaurants and stuff and just eats ridiculous portions of food. And like, he's a slim guy. Like, if you looked at him, you wouldn't think he could, but this guy can eat crazy amounts of food. Um, really? Like, you know when restaurants have that challenge, like, oh, like, can't yeah, eat this? Yeah, yeah. Like, he goes and does them and not only to do them, he does them in the quickest time as well. Like, some of these are things what? that have never been done or they've been done, but he just does them in insanely quick times. And they, so they've been watching some of these and they watched one of a fish and chip shop in Doncaster that he went to and they thought the food looked so good. They're driving up there today to go eat lunch there. Wow. (laughs) What? I just feel like, I feel like I just found CJ's calling. Mukbang. I reckon CJ be a hell of a mukbanger. Can we um, do the Uh, pronunciation? Because I've seen people... that's his fight name. over the pronunciation of this. How do you go about pronouncing it? Mukbang. Yeah, it's mukbang. Ah, uh, because someone was like, "I've been to South Korea, and that's not how they pronounce it." Try pronouncing it like that around them. <laughs> but then other people are like, "Well, that's what Google says." <laughs> Is there anything else you want to talk about? No. Alexander, um, my last two comments. One, Twitter taught me how to draw a bird this week, cool. and people have enjoyed it. Oh, cool! Um, I'll share that with you quickly. People, uh, Twitter has taught you how to taught me how to draw a bird. <laughs> wow. wow i love this wait can you i'm gonna use this for the kids and teaching two? so you put the twos you put the can, are you can i just say each? by the way the the twos yeah. it's absurdly hard to draw four twos that identically like that was the hardest part of the whole process go back the one really it, it, and it sounds like when I was watching, when I looked at this, I was like, oh, I'll give it a go because it's going to be easy. Like, I can now draw birds. The twos was easily by far the hardest part of the whole drawing. I because love if, your twos, this. if your twos aren't the same, it fucks up the whole picture. <laughs> I'm going to have a go at this. That's yeah. awesome. I like it. A little bit of directed drawing. Yeah. It's not bad. Huh. And then I've got, you've got a choice of what you want to see. Mm. Yeah. Little Steph Curry. Oh, I did see this guy. Mm. Magic face cream. What? Mm. A stick or cat greetings. Your choice. Cat greetings. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like we're like we're on family feud. Cat green. <laughs> she got in first. <laughs> she pressed the buzzer. Cat green. Cat green. <laughs> Oh, I love Family Feud. (laughs) Uh, What would you prefer? Cat greens. What? What's this? What type of cat is that? A serval or something. A lot of people say in the comments. A serval. Oh. What's this? (gasps) 
You know what that reminds me of? Aliens talking to each oh, other. Oh my <laughs> goodness. That's how aliens talk to each other. Is it? That's just like, <laughs> I come in peace. I, just, I touch you. Come in peace. That <laughs> was wild. You know what that felt like? She just passed on a thousand years of wisdom to that um, puny cat, to the younger yeah. cat, to the oh, kitten. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just like. I like that. The, the small cat's are like, oh, this world's crazy. And then she puts the paw, the older one puts the paw on and says, this is all you need to know. You might be right, you know. <laughs> that was insane, can I just say. Talking about cats, right? Talking about cats, can I just drop this? Don't start, go to another tab. You're doing that thing again. When you, I was looking at this cat, uh, I saw these cheetahs in the zoo. I think they're cheetahs. And there was a Labrador in there. And the reason why the Labrador's in this um, in the zoo uh, next to the cheetah is because cheetahs have a lot of anxiety. And the dog's there to calm them down. So not as food. Not as food. And then the cheetah gets the social cues, social cues off the dog. And the, it's a thing. It's like, it's a, you know, what, what do, um, uh, what do you call them? A people. People get uh, anxiety dogs or anxiety animals. Um, yes. Companion dog. Compa- this is a companion dog for cheetahs. I don't know if it's, I, I know it's a cat. I don't know if it's a cheetah. Yeah. Anyway. So dogs are just good companions for any animal. Any animal. <laughs> and they're calm. An animal's best friend. I saw something this week about how a vet was telling someone who came in to see them that they've had to treat a lot of cats for depression since COVID because their owners are at home all the time. (laughs) (laughs) And the cat just wants to be left alone. so funny cats are quite funny beings aren't they well dogs are too they both are oh here we go all right this is you want to intro this is this little steph curry yeah little okay i'm gonna intro this by saying my dad sent a video in our little family chat between me my sister myself and my parents of me playing basketball when i was 12 i think it was Mm. And, you know, quite politely, my family said nice things to me about it. You know, like, oh, you know, good. And what? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that. I can actually vividly remember that game as well. Um, and then you see things like this and you realize, never really was that good at that sport, was I? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Can you see? Yep, yep. Now, nah, little bro, really a little Steph Curry, tween behind. Oh. Spin drop, one dribble step back. Nah. Blah. What? Steph Jr. One dribble. Cross. Oh. What? Nah, he did the floater too. <laughs> Cross. It's no Knock way. It down. Blame. This really a step what? replica. Behind the back, spin move. One dribble, step back. Knock it down. Blame. Nah, it's, no, it's way. no way, bro. He got the behind the back, tween behind, just like Steph. Spin move, one dribble to the step back. Yo, if studying oh was a person, God. cross, oh. Oh. cross, flow game, nah, yo. cross, <laughs> right to the down. Pull up. This is just down. <laughs> the spin move. one dribble, <laughs> knock it down, bang. That's that's insane. That's insane. Wow, that's yeah. insane. Insane. I wonder how old he is. Knock it down. I want to get that. I want to get auto tune on us. So we can. <laughs> That's mad. Um, someone I know, their son plays, and he is insane. He's two years older than Aiden. No I think. way. And he. <laughs> gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I love it. <laughs> and he plays like state now, but he's like so good. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, Dev. 
Next episode, no, I get, I bet you not. It'll have auto tune. <laughs> it was gonna get this package from Amazon. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, on that note, guys, we will see you next week. Uh, that was a weird episode. <laughs> I can't. You know uh, what? I can't uh, wait for. Can during the week? Do you have time to record a mini episode during the week? Like talking ten minutes. Don't have to yep. involve us. I want Emma's reaction to a couple of the things that we did this week. So, the a husband and wife scholarship. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Husband and wife scholarship. The one that we. Oh I'm yeah, talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. And yeah. eels. I just want to see Emma's eels. reaction to both of those. I think you would have added something different because CJ likes to eat eels and that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Did I tell you about a lady? Or shall I save it for the reaction? No, no, go for it. <laughs> this lady um, believed that she was pregnant with fish. Um, what the f- Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fish, the fish, the fish was an eel. <laughs> What, you know what this is reminding she, me of? She, this is reminding me of, remember <laughs> um, Stargate back in the day and the 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 aliens that had the... Yeah. The got and, the gills. But they had the eel that come out their stomach thing. The alien. Yeah, I don't remember. Remember, that, yeah. that's what you're making me think of when you say this woman <laughs> was pregnant with eels. Oh, she, no, she really is pregnant with eels? No, she believes she, she's from the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> and um, she had Psycho. gone she'd gone swimming mm. during her period. And there's a... But then what happened was... Did she find herself a stereo, in the Bermuda Triangle? Uh, there's a, um, no, yeah. there's a superstition that if you go swimming whilst on your period, then things can enter. Yeah, right. right? So she actually then started putting on weight and it looked like she was pregnant. Like everyone's asking, pregnancy. you're pregnant, you're pregnant, you're pregnant. And then she got a ultrasound and the grandma was convinced as well. And the ultrasound looked like an eel, like, <laughs> like, what the, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, the ultrasound. <laughs> yeah. So when they saw the, like when they did the yeah, gun. Yeah, like she showed the picture of the ultrasound. It looked like an eel. No. I'm kidding. Not, not kidding you. Um, but it actually turned out to be um, fibroid. Uh, was it fibroids? What's the other one? Um, fibroids. What's the one beginning with C? Cancer. No. Cyst. Um, cyst. It was like it was like ovarian cyst or oh. something, and it just looks. It happened to look like that shape, and she had to have surgery and get them removed. Oh, so. It was... But it looked like she was pregnant, and then the ultrasound thing <laughs> looked like an eel, and she was convinced she was pregnant with fish. Yeah, the fish. <laughs> You're the one that brought up eel. I did. <laughs> Uh, that is another episode of the B-Side Word done for another week. I will call this the revolving door because we went round and round in circles and we ended up in the same spot. Uh, that's, uh, oh yeah, I'm Devin here with Emma and Alexander. Thank you for Ciao. joining us and have a good week. Bye. Bye. Peace.